Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. Welcome to another of my PlayStation 4 reviews and today's review is for Saints Row the third, the remastered edition on PlayStation 4. Now then, uh, it seems to be uh, the time for remasters. I have just recently played and reviewed uh, Mafia 2 remastered. Um, it's fair to say that was mixed response by many. A lot of people weren't that keen on the remaster of that game. I thought it was alright, to be honest. I played the original. I thought for the price of twenty four ninety nine, I thought it was okay, even though it wasn't brilliant in regards to a remaster. Now, Saints Row III has received the same treatment. It's had a remaster. This game originally came out in 20, 2011, I believe. Um, now, my history with the Saints Row games is a little bit patchy. I have played them all. But I haven't put like hours and hours of uh, playtime into them. Certainly not in the first two anyway. Um, I did play Saints Row the third at the time. Um, and I have probably put the most amount of time uh, into Saints Row 4. Um, having played that on the last console and I got it again when it was released early on in this console's life. PlayStation 4. So what can you expect from Saints Row the Third Remastered? Well, actually a really nicely polished game. Um, it's clear that a lot of time and effort has been put into this remaster and it's it's vast, I think, vastly different on many different levels from the first one. I mean, the main one is the visuals. Now, when you play this initially, you kind of like oh it just kind of feels very similar to the other one and looks very similar to the other one and it does it's kept that aesthetic the previous game had uh, but when you look into it further and you can see these comparison videos on YouTube and things like that and especially especially the digital foundry video that's gone up on this um, it's clear that a remarkable amount of effort has gone into this game um, and it really really shows I think it looks brilliant um, and it plays brilliantly this game. Now I'm playing it on a PlayStation 4 Pro uh, but I suspect it will run absolutely nicely on a normal PlayStation uh, 4 system as well. It's smooth as silk, no problems at all, no glitches, no bugs that I have come across at all playing the game. The biggest problem I had with this game was probably about 8 hours into it or something like that. I tried going in and loading a game and it wouldn't it just wouldn't load the screen came up uh, came up saying it was trying to load the game and it it just wouldn't load so I turned off the PlayStation 4 turned it back on tried it again it still wouldn't do it and then it showed up a fault and then eventually it worked it loaded the game um, so that's the only issue and it only ha it's only happened once um, but other than that what well, in game no problems no issues at all with this game so what can you expect with this game well this is a really silly, over-the-top, open-world sandbox game. Um, there is... Imagine Grand Theft Auto dialed up to 11. It's really a mad, bonkers world. It's like it's like you're living in um, a weird action film, an over-the-top action film. It's almost like the Arnie film, the last action hero film. Um, everything's over-the-top here. The explosions, the car chases, the gunfights, the fighting the melee combat everything is completely over the top it's not to be taken seriously so if that is the experience that you want with a game like this and you've never played a Saints Row game before and you want to play a semi-serious open world sandbox game don't bother with the Saints Row games because you're not going to get a serious open world game here you're going to get a massively tongue-in-cheek game that is enormous fun to play it really really is enormous fun to play just going from point A to b and point B on the map, there's so much you can do, so much chaos you can get yourself into. Um, it's just fun just driving around causing chaos in this game. Um, it's, it's hugely entertaining and hugely enjoyable. It's got over the top weapons, uh, shark guns, uh, you name it. It's got, it's got these weird and wonderful weapons in the game and they're all still here. Comes with all the DLC and things like that, this game. Um, and it's just fun to play not enough games are fun to play and this game certainly is fun to play I've been annoying, uh, enjoying my time in this game enormously it is an absolute blast 
so you're let loose in this game at the beginning you're allowed to customize and create your own character and then you become like the leader of the saints and then you go on this weird and wonderful set of missions that get increasingly crazy um, to try and take over Steelport this huge city um, uh, and it's it, it's just the mission structure and stuff like that it's just fun to do really there's loads of side activities to do loads of side missions you can when you're on a mission you can bring um, people along you've got like your saints crew as well that you can get you to join on missions and you can customize uh, your crew as well however you want make them look however you want um, you can you can customize huge aspects of this game actually you can go um, you can go into shops, you can buy yourself new clothes, weird and wonderful clothes, you can buy new weapons, weird and wonderful weapons, new vehicles, all these weird and wonderful vehicles as well. Um, middle of the road doesn't really exist in this game, It's everything's full on, everything's extreme, everything's in your face, everything's ultra violent, um, and you just can't take it seriously. Um, the game comes with like uh, the ability to upgrade yourself, you can upgrade the health, you can upgrade your abilities, uh, your weapons, your damage, uh, customization options, there's a whole array of things that you upgrade in this game and you do that by earning money. And there's a whole multitude of ways of earning money. You can steal cars and sell them on. You can buy businesses and that will earn you hourly money through, throughout the game. Um, so you can go around buying businesses and then that will earn you like legitimate money in the game things like that um, or you could just go around randomly beat people up and steal money off them and things like that it's just bonkers it's it's a wonderfully entertaining um, and bonkers game now the, the main problems with this game is is that we've had so many games now that um, have kind of nailed down like the shooting aspects and all that kind of stuff this the shooting in this game feels really dated um, it's not particularly responsive um, even if some of the weapons are quite fun to use um, but it's quite loose and not very responsive and it's it's pretty much the same with the driving here as well it feels quite old-fashioned um, quite loose um, and not particularly um, responsive to drive around in the vehicles again there's a huge array of vehicles and they are quite um, there is some fun to be had especially when you're in your tanks and all that kind of stuff um, so you can go around and cause absolute chaos you've got your insurance fraud thing and if you don't know what that is in this game you're basically trying to earn money by uh, being fraudulent <laughs> to insurance, insurance companies and getting knocked about uh, with these weird body, body physics and you, you earn the money that way um, getting knocked about for longer and further and higher um, and, and you earn money that way I mean you could list I could literally be here all day and list all the mad and bonkers things that you can do in this game the main thing you can I can suggest for you to do with this game is just get it and try it especially if you've never played it before you're going to be basically um, entered into a world uh, an open world that is fun colorful vibrant um, and, and a lot of fun to play in it's a it's a sandbox that allows you to play in it um, and, I, and that's the biggest compliment I can give it really this game it's a fun game to play yes there are aspects of it that feel dated yes there are aspects of it that don't work particularly well but I think they've done a remarkable job personally in regards to um, this remaster it looks great feels great it's silk it's it's smooth as silk to play um, and it's just get it get out there cause some absolute chaos I think it's 34.99 in the UK if you don't want to go that deep for a remaster, I could completely understand that. You could argue it's a little bit overpriced for a remaster. Give it a couple of months, you'll pick this up for 20 quid, 15 quid in the UK. It's a steal. Um, so if you're wondering if this is a remaster worth trying, I would suggest to give it a go personally. I'm going to give it, oh, certainly I'm going to give it um, 
I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think it is worth a try. Um, and it is certainly something that I don't think you'll be disappointed with if you want to try it out. Um, fans of Saint Row, Saints Row, um, yes, it's worth getting. It's not if you've already got it and you've got it on I've got a PlayStation 3 you've got already got it then maybe not but they've certainly done a good on a good job here so I hope you found this review useful